Hi, this is Joe with SoFly, and in this video we're going to show you how to import settings from Yoast WordPress SEO into your WordPress site. Now Yoast WordPress SEO stores its settings and custom fields attached to your posts, so it makes it pretty easy to import your settings. And WPL Import can auto-detect these custom fields so long as there's at least one post on your site that's using them. So you can see here I've created a dummy post for us for this import. We'll go ahead and check out the settings. I've filled in some settings here. Page analysis is blank. There's nothing to do on this one yet. And advanced, we have a lot more. Now you'll notice that some of these will have default settings. If you don't import a custom field or if you leave it blank in your import, Yoast WordPress SEO is just going to use the default that it has. And over here we have social, and this is where you have some Facebook settings. So we'll go back to our import, and we'll create a new import here. And we'll download the file, and we'll continue to step two. And we'll go ahead and continue to step three. Everything looks good. And here we have our import template. So I'm going to go ahead and drag in our title and our content. And we'll scroll down. And we'll check out the custom fields. And we're going to click C, detected fields. And look at that. WPL import has gone ahead and detected all of them. And you can see the uh, data that's already in here is everything from our dummy post. We're going to want to replace all of that. And I'm going to skip ahead and fill in all these and we'll come back when I'm done. All right, so you can see here that I've gone ahead and filled in all of the custom fields with data from my import file over here. But one thing you might notice is that the focus keyword was left blank here on the dummy post, which means that WPL import didn't detect it. Now that's fine. You actually don't need to have a dummy post and you don't need to auto detect your custom fields. We can simply add the custom field here and then I'll paste in the custom field that Yoast WordPress SEO uses and then I'll drag in my focus keyword and that's it. So everything looks good. I'm going to continue on with the import. We'll continue to step four and I'm going to auto detect my unique identifier and we'll continue. I'm going to confirm and run the import. All right, everything looks good. Import is complete. Let's check out our posts. We'll go ahead and pull this first one up. And you can see here that all of my data is imported. Go over to page analysis, advanced. You can see here that all the settings have been pulled in and we're looking good. There you go. Importing Yoast WordPress SEO settings is not as hard as you would think.